What are the chances of seeing the terrifying Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings in space? Or a large burning red skull screaming and begging its tormentor to quench the fire and rescue him from death? In space, you can never tell what you'll find. The Milky Way is pretty much a giant ball of gas and debris, but it is also home to our planet and hundreds of billions of stars. It is massive and moves at speeds that are hard to understand or keep up with. It's also full of space dust and gas, so studying it has been a challenge for astronomers since the beginning of science. And comets? They are giant balls of ice and rock that orbit the Sun on paths that lead them around it. Some of them have tails as long as 6 million miles. But that is not the weirdest thing astronomers have discovered. From gaping watery canyons to the Great Barrier Reefs, space indeed is a mysterious place plagued with anomalies from celestial bodies that shouldn't be there, to strange lights and sounds. When you look up at the night sky, you see thousands of stars and planets, but no one knows what they look like up close. Above our beautiful and perfect-looking planet, from galaxies far, far away to nebulas and exploding supernovas, we've rounded up some of the most bizarre and downright terrifying images captured by satellites. Number 10. The Jack-O-Lantern Sun When Mother Sun is in her wicked place, she stares down at us, producing an image that looks like the Jack-O-Lantern you make out of pumpkins during Halloween. What you're seeing is the pumpkin sun photo from the Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft in 2014. The eyes, nose and wicked mouth are all there upon the sun's countenance of plasma, and it even looks like it has little flaming ears. According to NASA, the jack-o'-lantern sun is an ultraviolet image that shows the active regions of our home star. The visible parts that look like a face are the active regions that are brighter than the rest of the sun's surface because they emit more light and energy. In October 2022, NASA captured the sun in her happy place, and she seemed to be smiling. Wow, a lot must have happened to our dear sun between 2014 and now. Number 9. The Ghost Galaxies In 2014, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope spotted a bunch of floating stars in space and named them Ghost Galaxies. These bizarre objects are the remnants of massive galaxies stripped of their stars and gas, following gravitational interactions with other galaxies several billion years ago. These objects are called ghosts because they don't emit much light, just not enough to be easily visible through telescopes on Earth. NASA says it took about 200 billion orphaned stars to generate about 10% of the light detected. Now, you must be wondering, how many homeless stars are there out there? Will they fall to the ground like snow? The good news is gravity won't let them fall to the ground. Who wants to wake up to a giant star lying outside on their porch? Number 8. The Face on Mars Over two decades ago, something creepy was spotted on Mars and it wasn't anything like astronomers had seen before. NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft was orbiting the planet when it picked a shadowy figure that appeared like a human face buried under a rock. Did aliens carve human faces into rocks? The face on Mars is a rock formation in Sidonia Mensae on Mars. It is a two-mile-wide, one-mile-high mesa with two eyes, one nose and one mouth which resembles a human face. If aliens had been proven to exist, we would have thought this insane occurrence on Mars is their masterpiece. But aliens are still a myth. As for the faces, later observations by NASA showed that it is simply a natural landform that has become more visible as surrounding material has eroded. Number 7. The Witch Head Nebula Where do you think witches go after they laugh at you hysterically and then disappear? Well, this photo from space may help you answer that question. Located about 1,000 light-years away from Earth, in the direction of the constellation Orion, lies the Witch Head Nebula, a dark nebula in the Perseus arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It is made up of dense cold molecular hydrogen gas and dust, which absorbs light from stars and causes the nebula to appear opaque and dark. It looks like the profile of a screaming evil witch, but it really is the home of baby stars born into the universe. Witch Head Nebula 
is only an infrared portrait of a nebula photographed by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. But that doesn't make it any less creepy. Number 6. Ghost Hand of God You can't run away from God even in space. He could stretch his gigantic hand and grab you if you're not lucky. This green glowing zombie seems to be looking for something or someone. He reaches into space and holds a bright red cloud. Could this be an alien looking for food? The Hand of God is a pulsar wind nebula called B1509. It spins seven times per second while firing out a particle wind into the material around it that was ejected in the star's explosion. These particles interact with magnetic fields in the vicinity of the material, causing it to glow with X-rays. As a result, the cloud looks like an open hand. The pulsar itself is not visible in this image, but if you look closely behind the bright white spot, you'll see it there. Number 5. The Zombie Pac-Man Nebula 9,200 light-years away from Earth, far beyond where you can see with your eyes, lurks a zombie taking a bite from space while waiting for its next brain meal. This monster-like cloud appears to be eating through the cosmos when viewed through a visible light telescope. That explains why NASA named it after the 1980 video game Pac-Man. The star-forming cloud changes appearance when viewed in infrared light by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE. It possesses a set of lower, sharp-looking teeth. The Pac-Man is at the top of the image, biting in the direction of the upper left corner. The Pac-Man isn't your regular space monster. It's home to tons of high-mass stars weighing more than eight times the mass of the Sun, generating tremendous amounts of energy. On a closer look, scientists realized the nebula wasn't a zombie. The teeth aren't teeth at all, but pillars from which new stars will form. Number 4. The Screaming Skull if someone told you there is a skull in space, burning, screaming and begging for its life, you wouldn't believe it. But pictures don't lie. The Screaming Skull is an X-ray image of the galaxy cluster called the Perseus Cluster in the constellation of Perseus. But there aren't skulls in space, so this is only an illusion. Number 3. Saturn's Hyperion Saturn's Hyperion looks like your old sponge from 10 years ago came back to haunt you. But it's not scary to look at, it's just really creepy. Hyperion is covered with craters and streaks that give it a spongy look. Scientists believe these features are caused by material ejected from impacts on the Moon's surface. The most unusual feature of Hyperion is its unusually low density, about half as dense as water ice making it one of the least dense objects known in our solar system. Scientists believe that Hyperion's interior must be porous like styrofoam, with many empty spaces between its rocks, making it look white when viewed through a telescope. Don't let its looks fool you. Hyperion rotates chaotically, tumbling through space as it orbits Saturn at a mean distance of 933,000 miles. Number 2. The Dark Tower in Scorpius Just when you thought the Milky Way was weird, it spits out a castle in the sky. The universe sure knows how to surprise astronomers. The Dark Tower in Scorpius is a huge dark cloud of dust and gas that lies at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, about 5,000 light-years away. This dusty cosmic cloud silhouetted against a crowded star field in the tail of the arachnological constellation Scorpius conjures up images of a scary black tower. The swept-back cloud, also known as a cometary globule, is sculpted by intense ultraviolet radiation from the OB association of very hot stars in NGC 6231. That intense ultraviolet light also powers the globule's surrounding crimson glow of hydrogen gas responsible for the bluish reflection nebulae. At number 1. The Eye of Sauron In The Lord of the Rings, the Eye of Sauron was depicted as a fiery orb that can see everywhere and was used by Sauron to watch his enemies. The Eye was used to protect Mordor and its operations and destroy those who oppose Sauron. In the Return of the King film adaptation, it is depicted as a fiery ball suspended from the top of Barad-dûr, with Sauron's power emanating from within it. 
Well, the Eye of Sauron must have found its way into space. This fiery eye-shaped nebula was first thought of as a zombie planet until 2008, when NASA proved it's actually a star. Whatever the case, it sure brings Halloween to space.